often came up with the undertones uh, when people were writing about it was the, about the, the situation in Ireland and the fact that the undertones didn't write about it at all. Uh, you were uh, the man in charge of the record company. Did you have any thoughts on whether they should have or shouldn't have? Um, first of all, I believe in artistic control, so um, that would never have come up. Um, you know, some of the bands uh, in Ireland were, were writing like that. Um, I, I really liked Stiff Little Fingers, uh, Alternative Ulster. And there was another song they did too that I liked, you know, I, don't, I don't, can't think of it right now. But they had two, and they were both very political, but very well done, you know. But uh, to me, um, you know, the, the undertones were one of the ultimate pop bands. The songs were, you know, um, it was a great disappointment to me, and I, it was, I took it personally, to me, not, not to you, that, uh, that they didn't have greater success in America because um, they're such a great pop band. And when you do that so well, I mean, I, I don't think that, um, you know, um, you do what you do best. And you certainly did, you know, you made great pop records. Looking back on it, there was very little interference, I'll call it, from Sire, uh, whenever the Undertones were making records. You know, there was... I don't believe in it. You know, um, I mean, you know, um, there, there are certain things that I would have objected to, but they never, I mean, it's not... You know, you know, there's certain craziness that you know you gotta, but uh, no, very little craziness. Was going no. Yeah, I think I think that's very true. Yeah. Really, I mean, I don't know if you say it. Really, I th I think w what it was, you know, um, they really wanted to make it. I mean, and and uh, right. I mean. And I, I could relate to it, you know. I mean, um, I've still, you know, never been to Derry. I've been to Belfast. But, um, you know, I mean, I, I was born in Brooklyn in a, a working class, you know. And I was want to make it, you know. And, I mean, it, it was written all over you. And it was good. I mean, you know. The Ramones, the same thing with the Ramones, you know. And, and um, Once we were on the same label as the Ramones, I think we were happy. Didn't we? Oh, yeah? But good. Right. Well, I think the Ramones were happy, too. The... Uh, the, the band has sort of done the occasional show since, uh, without Ferdinand. Do you have any views on that? Good, bad, indifferent? Well, um, I mean, I, 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 would, I would tell you if I had seen any of the shows what I, what I thought. Um, I, I think Fergal was such an integral part of the band. Uh, that voice, whoo, you know. Um, I, I don't think it would be the same without him. You know, it's um, like, you know, talking heads without David Byrne. I mean, and they tried it, and, um, you know, and um, but they also, you know, were the Tom Tom Club, and they were great. They were themselves, you know. I, I um, you know, and that's... Remains to be seen. Yes. Why don't you get Fergal back? He doesn't want to. Um, yeah, is he still running that little label? He had some some co American corporation gave him some money, and no, he was out there beating the bushes for talent. He's a freelance music consultant. Yeah. I think he visits record companies and gives his advice to them. So has he been around Sire giving advice yet? No, no I would love to see him. You know. When was the last time you saw him? I saw him at a, I, I saw him when he was working for a brief period at Polydor, and then I saw him after that at Meet Him about maybe four or five years ago. He had gone there with some money from some company to hunt out some you know new talent and and like me uh, that year he came up empty you know I always remember you talking to Fergal about uh, John McCormick. yes. I love Irish music from that period, you know. Brendan O'Dowder, who was much later, and uh, Chauncey Olcott, who was before. Chauncey Olcott wrote My Wild Irish Rose, you know, but he was Irish American. Well, so was McCormick, I guess, yeah. We'd never heard of him. You yeah. heard of, 
You've heard of Brendan O'Dowd, though. Since, yes, yes, but at the time, he never used to oh, know the song. Fredo was the only one who knew the name. Mm. The rose, the pale moon was rising oh. above the green mountain. Beautiful song. Yeah. Beautiful. The Rose the of Trelly. I've got the record since. Oh, okay. Sure. Will we try a two-step, which is just...